Good morning, you guys. This arrived in my yard yesterday. As you can tell from the title of this video, you'll know why. So today we're going to get it all set up. Um, my parents are on their way over now. Because as you can see, it is not level. The ground kind of dips right here. So we're going to level it out really good. And then we're going to start getting stuff thrown in here for eBay. Alright guys, the trailer is leveled out. Here is what we're working with. I put these totes here because I'm trying to decide how I'm doing this. And those tires will be gone here soon. Um, they're not going to be staying in here. I'm not sure on the measurement of the trailer. But here's the space we are working with. So here's my plan. I have a few different ideas. There is a clothes hanging rack that I thought about putting in here, um, maybe on this wall for all of my clothing items. That way it can be hung up and not in a bin. I also have one extra plastic shelving unit from like Menards that we could put together. I think it's like four tiers and I think it should fit in here perfectly for stuff that I don't want to put in bins. I also want to keep bins like I have in my basement. Um, and then on these front shelves, I'm thinking of putting categories that I have a lot of things in, such as plush shoes. Those are the two immediate ones I could think of, um, but there's a lot of space here. And I was thinking of putting totes with lids down here, so that way it just kind of keeps it from getting dirty, but I thought up here would be good. And then maybe have a little station with like some extra supplies in here as well. And then there's also a heater and a box fan which I'm not sure if it's gonna stay in here or not. We'll see how much space I need, but I'm pretty confident that we can fit all of my listed inventory in here. And for those of you that don't know, this is my current storage situation. It is a little bit messy because I did start moving stuff outside already, but we've got like 45 bins down here. And the only thing I wanna keep down here from this point forward is anything that would be affected by high heat or very cold temperatures. But for now, it'll be anything high heat. Good morning guys, it is Monday. I just woke up a little bit ago. Um, we worked on the trailer all day yesterday. We're about 80% done moving all my inventory out there, my listed inventory out there. Um, today, we're gonna try to finish it. My mom is on her way right now with a clothes rack that I'm hoping to put in there so that way I can hang up all of my clothes that I have for sale, which will be a nice system. And there's also little shelves on it I was thinking of using for like hats and accessories and maybe blankets. Otherwise, I have a blanket ladder I've been thinking about moving out there for all my blankets because I have a few. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the progress. All right, guys, here is a progress video of the trailer. So we've got our plush area, glassware slash breakables. We've got Nikes only and Crocs on this shelf. Then we've got a bunch of totes of other shoes. I didn't realize I had a shoe issue until now. Um, we did get the clothes rack put in here with all the clothes on it. We got this with purses and bags. And we've got books down there. And then we've got anything that's mainly either oversized or boxed in here. And then I have some Scentsy on the bottom and my embroidery kits and some bow ties. And then what I'm going to do with the rest of the stuff that doesn't fit into any of these categories, we're going to put in bins here. I'm hoping to only have maybe six to nine of these bins. We're about to the finishing point with the rest of what I have left in the basement. We've got these two bins, that one, and then there's a couple sitting out there. So I will um, show you guys when I get some more progress. All right, guys, it is now 530 Here's the progress. There's been really no change up there. Um, we stack the shoes up. We got the clothing rack situated completely. We got more bins back here now. Um, it's almost done. It's like 98% done. I have just a little bit more work to do in here. I put like some really small items in here because I wasn't sure. I didn't want to just throw them in here. Um, so yeah, we just have a little bit of work left. I need to get some things fit a little bit better around here um or situated better 
but here's where we're at now. It is dinner time. I'm gonna go eat. Might come out here and keep working. We'll see. What's up, y'all? It's Alicia the Ink Picker. It is Tuesday. I'm not feeling great today. I've got like a runny nose situation going on, so we're not having a really great time. Anyways, we're at Goodwill. We're gonna run in, see what we can find, go run a few errands, go home, and maybe work on the trailer some more. Maybe finish it today. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, I am back. I'm currently in the trailer pulling some orders. It is super cold out, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. Didn't find anything at Goodwill, which sucks, um, but we're just gonna go inside and do some listing and just have a chill night. I'm not feeling great today. I was hoping to get a lot more done, but it's just not. Hey y'all, really quickly, I'm gonna show you what sold. Didn't end up finding anything at Goodwill today. So we sold this. For 13 free ship, I thought it was so funny because we're heading to Vegas here in a couple weeks and it says MGM Grand. So I wonder if they gave these out at the hotel. This is the hotel we're staying at. So I don't know. That was pretty cool. 10 free ship for this. 5 plus ship for these strawberry salt and pepper shakers. Then we've got this LuLaRoe very soft velour jacket. 23 plus ship. And then we've got this Bubble Bobble DS game for $15.30 free ship. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. There was a garage sale at 7 a.m. Got there right when they opened. And here's everything we got. For $3, I got this whole set of butterfly amber glass cups. I thought they were super cute. They are by Libby when I Google Lens them. Um, I don't know. I picked them up, although it's going to be a pain in the ship. I thought they were so cute, though, in a set of four. Then we got these, two bucks a piece. There wasn't really any comps that I could find for this exact one, but I do know vintage mini ornaments do sell, so I have sold them before. We also got this in the free bin. I don't know if it's really worth anything. Um, it doesn't have the cap, but I thought I'd grab it for these knives down here she charged me a dollar for all of them these quick cut stainless they've got this like marbly pattern on the handles got those got a set of mushroom pyrex five dollars for the two super cute oops then we got this for a dollar i sold a very similar one for quite a bit um this one's a little different though. It's got like a big dome on it. We'll have to look that up. Got this for 50 cents. Also got this. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I figured for a dollar I would grab it. It does say made in Germany on the back. And then we got these, a dollar for the whole stack. It's a bunch of random owner's manuals. There's some John Deere stuff in there. Um, I figured for a dollar, I'll make my money back. And then when we go over here, I paid three dollars for this whole box of miniatures. Um, we've got like miniature fridges in here, little piano, we got chair. I know I'll make my money back off of one item. Oh my gosh, and there's a little cat in here. I didn't see this. I love him. Okay, well, I didn't mean to pick this up, but it was at the bottom of the box, I guess. Um, all I saw was the stuff on top for miniatures, but we got this little guy too. So that's a win. Um, got a couple of watches. I figured I'd start stocking up watches again to do another watch whatnot, since my last one went so well. Um, we got this one for a dollar. And then we got these. It said 30 cents on the bag, but she said she'd do 25 cents for two watches. I mean, they're cool. Um, 50 cents for this, I don't know. There's just some weird things in here. I saw this little frog dude and I wanted him. But there's a couple other weird things in there. And then we got this for $10. It's a metal cabinet. It is vintage. It's got numbers all on the front. Thought that was very unique. And it opens and closes pretty nicely besides this bottom one, it's a little sticky, but it does open nice. Anyways, that's all we got at the garage sale this morning. Oh, and we paid like $31 for everything. And then since I was up super early, I decided to go into Goodwill as soon as they opened, which never really happens. 
found these Nikes were $12. They were at the front. And then also at the front, I found a sealed TI-83 Plus for $275. Saw some really good comps on this. And this Peak backup camera system for $12. I picked up both of those. I su I'm surprised they didn't price this more, honestly. Um, and then we found some Tommy Bahama shoes, some Nautica slip-ons with the tag. And that's all I got today. And although I paid $5 for these, I think what I'm going to do is throw them in my death pile and think about keeping them. Um, the pattern's pretty good, but I thought I could maybe find the lids at a garage sale because I find just the clear Pyrex lids all the time, especially the one that will fit this, which will bring up the value if I can pick one up for maybe a dollar or two. So I might just throw these in a box for a while, wait until grad sale season is in full swing, try to find them, and either sell them at that point or maybe just keep them because I think they're super cute. All right, this is my second time recording this because I accidentally um, included a box in it with someone's address on it. So I'm gonna re-record this really fast. So we went back to the garage sale. I had a really big gut feeling that I needed to go back. So I did and it did not disappoint. So. For five bucks, I got these two boxes of, um, I forgot what it was called. We got these two boxes for five bucks for the two, so 250 each. Nobility Permaware, so it's a whole set. I saw parts of them or pieces, like replacement pieces on eBay, saw comps, I figured I'd pick them up. If nothing else, I will replace my dish set with these because I think they're kind of cute. Anyways, um, then for two bucks, we got these frames on the back they do say made in Italy right there picked up this little Indiana glass bunny in a nest for two bucks got this for ten bucks and I already got a comp on worth point for it from the discord it did last sell for I think 55 but I didn't know what the sale date was I forgot what it was but we'll definitely make our money back there and then we got two boxes of glass negatives, these two. Sorry, it's all messed up because I had already pre-recorded this and then I realized there was an address in it. So, all these glass negatives, they're super cool. I don't know anything about them. As you can see, really cool. I don't know, I guess we'll have to look up those when we get time. Got this atomic like chip bowl, it's heavy glass, um, mid-century modern. I don't know anything about this either. I think I paid like five bucks. Got, um, this is an ink brush or airbrush nozzle. It's vintage, paid like three bucks for that. A dollar a piece for these books. And this one does sell, I think it is this one, for like 20 or $30. So I grabbed all of them. Got this washboard or whatever this is. Yeah, I think that's what that, that is. And I also got this Wagner Ware four quart pot or kettle. I think she wanted five bucks for that or seven. Got this bag of jewelry for a dollar. I just saw that this um, bracelet right here was Premier Designs, as you can see by the tag right there. So I went ahead and grabbed it just for that. Um, I'll need to check out the other pieces in there. And, she brought this out as I got there, and I thought it was super cool. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's got a bell, a letter opener, and a magnifying glass. I think I paid five bucks for that. Love how it came in the little box. Then we got these. I think they're inkwells. Um, I was going to keep them for myself, but unless there's actually comps for them, then maybe I'll actually sell them instead, instead of hoarding them. <laughs> then we got this BMW um, keychain thing, came in the box, a dollar for that. Five bucks for these, I don't deal in records at all. This is my first record purchase, but I did comp this one on top and it would make my money back regardless. So we have a few more in there. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Then we got this club aluminum green i think it's avocado green is the color this pot very nice we got these things for free on the top and then i also got this whole box of this spring meadow design um these glasses for five dollars there was also a leaf design one but i couldn't find anything on it so i left it behind but i know i'll be able to make decent money back on this one 
and that is everything I grabbed. So now it's time to get all of this downstairs. Then I need to go out to the trailer, pull all my orders today, get them packed before my post lady shows up. Then we need to work on the trailer and hopefully finish it today because it's actually going to be nice out. And then at three o'clock, we're going to go record the second episode that we're pre-recording this week um, with Mo. So let's see what we can get done. Oh my gosh, something I forgot to include. I did also get this for $5. It is made in Japan. It's got a cute little lid. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? So yeah, that completes this haul. <laughs> All right, guys. The trailer is done as far as we can have it for now. So I'm going to do this really quickly, show you everything. So we've got our breakables area plush and more breakables all my nikes some crocs there's a folding chair right there i'm going to keep in here for whenever i'm working outside a bunch of shoes there's a tote back there all of these we'll get to those in a second um this is all my smalls and jewelry then we got the clothes rack blankets up top we've got a hat bin a costumes and uniforms bin accessories like bras we have a corset in there we have gloves a tie um, and then some extra bags like small bags the big bags are over here on top I want to hang this guy on the wall that's why he's here and we've got some books down there we've got everything all the clothing items hung over here we have some of our larger items and then we've got some of these magnets that I picked up at the bins a while back that haven't sold. Um, all the snake necklaces. These are all other smalls that I didn't really want to throw into a bin. And we've also got more smalls down there. And we've got six labeled bins. More of the Star Trek books and stuff down there that we just picked up that are listed. Got another um, large item that's a heart-shaped picnic basket. We've also got a box fan and a heater um, for whenever it gets hot or cold out here. And we've got all of our larger items, box items, awkward shaped items, as well as a little scentsy section, this little thing. And then we've also got like crafting type stuff here. We've got stamps and then we've got like um, some die cut kits and some embroidery or no cross stitch kits down there too. So that is it. So here are my goals really quickly for this. I want to reduce all my shoes. I only want to have as much shoes as this shelf would allow me to fit, so I have a lot of work to do with the shoes. As far as the floor, I want to get a nice little rug that will cover the floor because it's a bit dirty, and the rug will get dirty out here, so I'm hoping to find something at a garage sale. As far as plush, I want to get something that, or I want to reduce it to the point that only my plush will fit in this bin. It's a pretty long bin, so I need to reduce plush. So reduce plush, reduce shoes, clothes fit nearly perfectly here. We've got some books to sell through to the point that they will all fit here, but I don't want to limit myself. I also might want to put a bag hanger here for extra bags. Um, we do want to get some lighting in here. There is a, that's a solar powered light for nighttime if I happen to come out here at night, which I don't really plan to. And then we're also buying an outlet thing so that we can run power out here so I can get a dehumidifier out here as well as a heater or an AC. Um, definitely an AC for the summer coming up. Um, but yeah, we also have this light, but it's very, it's not hooked up right now, but we did hook it up and it barely does anything. So that's our goals right now. I do plan to run a whatnot from the shed if we can make that work. Um, the Wi-Fi is kind of iffy out here. But yeah, here is the completed trailer. I'm so excited that all of this is out of the basement. Um, it was 45 bins worth of stuff. So now we've reduced it down to six bins and then everything's kind of laid out nicely, which I've already pulled orders from here twice. And it goes so much quicker with everything, well, most of everything being out and you can see everything. And it also kind of bugs me more. Like if I get an offer on an item, I'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen that. I want to get rid of it. I'm tired of seeing it accept it. So we're going to go ahead and pull orders and then get ready to record the podcast here in a couple hours. All right, we're going to pull orders really quick. For $17.91, we sold these Q Baby jeans. Got them at Goodwill for probably like five bucks. Um, so there's those. We also sold these Hoka's for 50 plus ship. 
They are a double wide, I believe. Something like that. Yeah. Or just wide. So we sold those. And for 13 plus ship, we sold this. So that already puts us in the profit for the Star Trek plot. We paid $10 for all of it. All the books, all of these. So this puts us in the profit. And we've also got a sticker um, lot that's in my office. So I will go to that now. And of course, I forgot to show you the stickers before I pack them. But there they are. All right, and here is the current state of the basement. We've got our little death pile here. We've got some stuff to list. And then my listing area with some stuff to test. It's a lot better now. Now this whole wall isn't lined with totes. All right, guys, here's the haul from today. Went to Goodwill, found another pair of these. Um, the girl at the front said that they got a bunch and to come back today and they'd maybe put them out. Well, she told me today that they put them back for the e-commerce store, so that sucks. But I was like, dang, I would have picked up a bunch of these. Then we went to a garage sale. Here's everything we got. So we got this shell hanging thing. It's got a bird. The bird is broken, like it's not sitting properly. But there it is. There's the tea kettle from yesterday. It's still sitting here in my kitchen. So we got that for $15. The shoes we paid like two bucks, something like that. Um, we did get this Smirnoff like bar mat thing for $2. We got this for 50 cents. Chilton guide for a dollar. You know, we like those. This for a dollar. And then the last thing we got was a bunch of, oh wait, we got these rings for a dollar as well. I. Like, they're just costume rings, but I figured I'd grab them for 50 cents a piece. And then we got a bunch of games. So I got all of these, these Lego ones. I've sold those before. We've got that. We got one NES game. We got this Gardening Mama game. Guitar Hero, Spore. I don't know why I picked up the Spore game. I don't think I meant to put that in my pile. And we also got this for PSP. There was a bunch of games, but... I didn't want to get them all, honestly, um, so I just kind of cherry-picked as much as I could. They didn't have any super great titles, so that's what we got today. Alright guys, to conclude the long video, it is now Friday afternoon. I found something on Facebook Marketplace that I thought I'd be able to make some money on. Here we go. Picked up this very heavy cherry coach tag. I saw a similar comp on eBay for around $75. I paid $15. So, let's see how much we make. And that will be my last clip from the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like the trailer. Um, I'll see you guys soon.